What's up, family? Family. 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 If you don't understand that, you don't understand ICP, otherwise known as Insane Clown Posse. That's what their fans chant when they see a performer on stage getting down and they approve of them. Now, they also chant family to signify unity. So whether you're at a concert, or they see you at a bus stop, if they start chanting family, they're embracing you. They're letting you know you family, you good. Now, Ghetto Boys is going on tour with ICP at the end of May. Make sure you get your tickets. So when this came across my notifications, it stuck out. So I was like, let me see what this is about. I started reading. I'm like, man, get the fuck out of here. It goes like this, y'all. A Texas woman wants the insane clown posse to know she's still a fan, even though she is suing them for allegedly throwing a full two-liter bottle of Faygo soda directly into her eye. Dee Darling, as she is referenced in her lawsuit, remains fond of the face-painted hardcore hip-hop group famous for its cult following and its dedication to Faygo soda. For over a decade, Insane Clown Posse has poured the Detroit company soda over concert goers, even canceling a 2016 show when a concert venue objected to the soda spring. But during an October 2015 concert in Dallas, Texas, Darling allegedly found herself on the receiving end of a stray Fago bottle as it rocketed off stage and struck her in the eye, detaching her retina. While being splashed with soda is part of the Insane Clown Posse experience, getting hit in the face with a full Fago bottle is not part of the deal, Darling's attorney argues in the lawsuit filed Wednesday in a Dallas County court. Darling is seeking unspecified damages from the Insane Clown Posse and their label, Psychopathic Records, as well as Texas Entertainment Services, which managed the concert venue. Like most fans at the Insane Clown Posse show in Dallas' Southside Ballroom that night, Darling knew the band might pour bottles of Fago from the stage. The Insane Clown Posse sings about Fago in multiple songs, and the beverage has become a running joke for the band's fans who call themselves Juggalos and drink the soda at their annual gatherings. Darling tried to stay out of the way of the splash zone at the concert, deliberately staying away from the stage area, her suit claims. One video from the concert appears to show the band flinging at least three bottles into the crowd over the space of several seconds. And when the band began showering the crowd with confetti, Darling moved forward to catch some of the falling paper. Then in an insane clown disaster. While Darling was reaching for the confetti, something heavier allegedly flew into the audience. Plaintiff's friend, who attended the concert with her, witnessed what appeared to be a full two-liter bottle of soda violently flung from the stage, striking plaintiff in the eye socket, her suit reads. Plaintiff's eye immediately began bleeding profusely, covering her face with blood and preventing her from being able to see from the eye. Darling was severely injured, and Southside Ballroom staff needed to take her out in a wheelchair, her suit alleges. A friend drove her to the hospital where she underwent medical treatment for weeks. The treatment including sealing her wounds with surgical glue, the suit alleges. It was later revealed the plaintiff suffered a degree of retina detachment. In 2011, the FBI added the Juggalos to a list of organized gangs. In response, the insane clown posse sued the FBI and the appeal and the ruling in 2015 was won and they got removed from the watch list. And that shit was gangster. Now, Darling accuses the insane clown posse of gross negligence in allegedly throwing the soda bottle off stage. Prior to the concert, Plaintiff was a fan of ICP's recorded music and remains a fan as of today. Darling's attorney writes in her suit, Although plaintiff found out that she may get Fago soda sprayed on her, plaintiff had no way of knowing that she would be assaulted by being struck in the eye with a filled 
two liter bottle projected from the stage by ICP. Are you serious? Every damn fan of ICP knows that them damn bottles gonna go flying, soda gonna fly. Everybody knows this, even if you're not a fan, even if you just heard about it, you witnessed from seeing a video on YouTube or something, you know what time it is when you go to an ICP concert. Put your antennas up. Hell, even me, I've been subjected to a bottle. Hell, I was on stage performing at the Gathering of the Juggalos and shit, they were throwing them damn plastic bottles everywhere. Look, man, that's the name of the game. She said, let me, let's get back to some of this shit. She said, well, actually, the attorney said, while being splashed with soda is part of the insane clown pasta experience, getting hit in the face with a full Fago bottle is not part of the deal. Listen, listen, man. If you go to the running of the bulls, you ever see people how they run and it's like they're running for their lives? People purpose, you say, why would anybody go to something like that and put themselves in the crosshairs of a bull? Why would anybody purposely just do that? Because they like the adrenaline rush. It's the thing that they get a kick out of. You got people who have died at running of the bulls. They put themselves in the direct line of fire because that's their thing. You can't go to an ICP concert and get hit with a bottle and cry about it or try to go sue. You signed up for that shit. No, you didn't sign up to actually get hit with a bottle. And I'm not saying that she actually got hit. I don't even really know the story. This is all allegedly. But let's just assume she did actually get hit with the bottle that flew off stage. She wasn't looking. So how the hell they know ICP actually threw the bottle? Now, I know what everybody going to say. Well, they didn't really have to throw the bottle. It was other people on stage performing. Anybody could have threw it because they were performing under the name ICP or with ICP on the stage and ICP is responsible for any actions, blah, 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 blah. And they're liable. I get it. But again, she signed up for this, man. And then to say that she's still a fan. Fuck out of here, man. Fans don't sue uh, uh, artists. Fans don't sue artists that they that they love. So maybe she's not a fan. You know, maybe she's something else. But I, I don't know what kind of fan this is. This is first, my first time knowing of a fan that actually sued an artist. You know, like some of these people ain't real fans. Some of these people are like casual observers. Like a real fan, a true real fan, I don't give a damn what happened. A real fan ain't going to sue the artist that they love. I don't give a fuck what happened to them at, at a concert. They 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 gonna they're gonna go they're gonna get past that. I know we live in a money era and it's all about money. People ain't got no principles. It's all boiled down to how much money I can get. I don't care. I got a payday. Everybody want a payday. I get that. But I'm just saying, a real fan ain't gonna do something like that to the artists that they so-called love. A real fan would never do that. And I know ICP fans, are real juggalos. I know juggalos for real. A real juggalo would never sue ICP under any circumstance. They may sue the venue. They may sue somebody else. They're not gonna sue, sue ICP. They got real fans. And I don't think she was a real fan. I think old girl was really more like a casual observer because you're just not gonna do something like that to somebody that you really, really rock with. You know, I saw the situation with uh, 50 Cent and the so-called fan that's supposed to be suing him for swinging on her. Even that is a stretch. I don't know where that's going, but back on back on topic. Also, 
they said this, they said like most fans at at the ICP uh, show, Darling knew the band might pour bottles of Fago from the stage. Ain't no damn might. Might is something Samson had. She knew 100% unequivocally that they were going to throw those damn bottles. And they knew they, she knew bottles would be thrown. These are plastic two liter bottles. Of course, yeah, they can injure you if you, if you uh, get hit in the head with it. But it's just like going to a damn baseball game. When you go to a baseball game, there's a chance that a ball will come flying out of that field and clock your ass right in the head and knock you out. Might even kill you. You sign up for that shit. That's why you got to watch your back at all times. You got to be watch yourself, protect yourself at all times, like they say in boxing. You got to protect yourself at all times when you go to a baseball game. You got to see what's going on. You got to be always aware of what's happening. Watch the play on the field at all times because that ball could come from anywhere at any point. If you up there, you come to a baseball game and you cause just because you eating your popcorn and get hit or just because you on the phone chilling and texting and bam, now you pissed off. You want to sue. No, you signed up for that shit. Man, I have absolutely no sympathy for old girl. I have absolutely no respect for her. Because she signed up for that. Darling tried to stay out of the way of the splash zone at the concert. Man, you know how you stay out of the way of a splash zone at an ICP concert? You don't fucking go. It's impossible to stay out the way of the splash zone. You don't go. That's how you stay out of the way of the splash zone at an ICP concert. Because even if they throw something off stage and splash you and they throw an empty or half empty bottle back into the audience, audience members oftentimes grab the bottles and spread all into the audience and stuff and throw the bottles everywhere. So how she know that the bottle didn't come from the audience? That is a possibility. But somebody told her that she had a payday and she jumped on it. But I pretty much think that it's going to be hard for her to win that case. I don't think she's going to win. I think it's going to be very hard for her to win that case. Because, like I say, I'm using the baseball analogy, and that's a perfect analogy. You sign up for this shit. This could happen. It's, it's a possibility that you could hit, get hit with a baseball. And the stadium is to tell you straight out, we're not responsible for any injuries. We're not going to be responsible. We're not liable. You can't sue. And I'm sure somewhere on ICP's website or the tickets or something, they got that same kind of information on there somewhere. I have no sympathy for her. Hell, I'm, in fact, I'm disappointed in her. I'm disappointed. I'm a fan myself. I'm, just, I'm not just speaking from an artist standpoint. I'm a fan myself of, of many artists. I'm a fan of many people that do great things. And I can't see myself suing that person because of my negligence or, or something that I did and I ended up, you know, getting hurt, getting injured because I wasn't being responsible. That's the way I see it. I believe she was negligent. I believe she went to the damn concert and if she did get hit like she say she did, then... That's on her because you got to watch your back when you go to these concerts if you know stuff going to be flying around. Just like boxing, I'm going to go right back to it, man. And this is for anybody, this is for future fans also, man. If you ever go to an ICP concert, protect yourself at all times. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.